YouTube is L me Rico TV, man. I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on. Women exposes Diddy and Ryan Garcia live. Shout out to Festify for the video, man. So y'all know already know why we here. With that said, man, if you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos on the channel, but not yet subscribe, please hit that subscribe button right now. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys can notify when I drop new videos. With that said though, man, I'm gonna go ahead and start the screen record. That started, and we're going to go ahead and start the vid now. But probably what you want to know about P. Diddy. Um, <laughs> so, say, say your story. So, guys, Ryan Garcia actually had a woman who exposed the P. Diddy situation on a podcast. She was talking about her dad exposing her own father having a relationship with Diddy and saying there was offers on the table for her to potentially be bought by him. This one went deep, and Ryan Garcia got an insight into the Diddy situation. But probably what you want to know about P. Diddy. Now, if her dad doing this then your dad definitely is crazy as hell because ain't no way i'm finna be trying to offer my daughter to a, another grown man to make some money like come on man that's just wild but other than that man let's get back to this video because this is already starting off crazy um <laughs> so, yeah, say, say your story it, it, you're, you're perfectly fine okay um yeah so he was at the club with my dad and he my dad like was showing him pictures of me like trying to brag like oh this is my daughter but and i didn't know this back then but he was trying to like buy me off my dad obviously the authenticity of this girl's story would have to be investigated by the police to actually prove it but that is the main thing he's being accused of is trafficking that's the charges that the investigation are mainly looking into the trafficking charges and i'm sure a lot of things will come with them exotic parties that was happening on top of it. and and my dad was not going for that shit at all my dad like he's very abusive he's been abusive my whole life he's been like to prison multiple times like for, he like broke my stepmom's leg. He he's very mm -hmm. he's beat every woman he's ever been with, um, which is why I'm super into boxing and I'm like super into like my body and my health so that no man would ever do that to me. But I'm still like running away from him. But mm -hmm. anyways, but so the thing about P Diddy, sorry, I get really off track. I'm just everywhere. No, I, I'm with you. Look at I'm with you. Yeah. Every step of the way, you got it. Okay, um, but. So I know, like, if he's trying to buy me, like, for my, and mind you, I find this out, like, when I'm in my 20s. Like, I'm 23 now, and I have three kids. And I'm, like, just now, I remember hearing about it back when I was young. Um, Before we get into more of what she says, the main question that we want to find out in this investigation is, was did he just buying these girls or trying to buy these girls for himself, or was there other elites and top people? Nah, that's crazy. If her dad really did do this, I'm not saying she's lying. I'm not saying Diddy is guilty because this is right now is just an accusation. But if her dad really did this, then that man is crazy as hell. Like, he really got some problems. The way he's trying to do this deal for his daughter to make money is just insane. And the fact that he pretty much is willing to go that low for his own daughter. It just tells you that he really don't love her at all. And on top of that, he deserves to be definitely locked up if anything comes from this accusation, for real, for real. So other than that, man, um, y'all comment down below so far what y'all think. But other than that, let's go ahead and continue on. Like an Epstein, that they was recruiting them to give <coughs> them to people. That's what many people believe Diddy's main goal was, to get them for high elites, and that's why he himself got so much power. Because, you know, my dad was, like, so strict and always, like, with, like, people like that. And I'm, like, now I think about it as an adult, I'm, like, if my dad is with people like that, then what is he doing type shit? You know what I mean? Because just because you're not going to sell me doesn't mean, you know, you're in, you're hanging around those people, like, I don't know. I, I just know if uh, my friends are doing I stuff like that, I would not be their friend he anymore. You know what I mean? Like, right and if someone was trying to buy my daughter i definitely wouldn't be hanging out with them again like i would you know? have knocked them out right period exactly you can beat women but you can't be a child of like abusers you can't be pedophiles but you could be women right 
Like, yeah, I, and I don't mean to I don't mean disrespect your dad, but yeah. that's that's a bitch made motherfucker. But right. but you got it. Right, right. Sorry. No, that's okay. And that's the thing. Nobody has ever, ever stood up to my dad. Like, because he always tries to, like, bitch everyone because he's, like, a big guy. Now, this girl hardly has any followers. And a lot of people would just say she got on a space and took her five minutes of fame. But she was calling this out before she even got on Twitter space. Tweets from when it first happened. P. Diddy damn near got to everyone. That's why it's such big news. Not because it's new. It's because it's been such a long time coming. They should have been locked him up. The cover up. Bitch, welcome to the effing committee and uh, <laughs> it's just it's really bad there's so much i don't think i should tell like i don't know how many people are on here but um, doesn't matter you it's <laughs> just me and you at this moment everybody's on mute nobody could speak it's literally me and you it's like basically we're having a phone call which is but, crazy because i love you so much i'd be watching all your stuff like i'm for real like a fan i love your boxing i love what you like bring attention to i love god now, if she came out with these allegations and accusations before this whole live and stuff like that, and she's been saying this for some time, or et cetera, et cetera, then you got to wonder if she's really clout chasing or if she's really telling the real truth for real, for real. Like I said, right now, these are all accusations. I'm not saying that what she's saying is true, and I'm not saying that Diddy is guilty in this situation, but... If this is all true, then shoot. Hey, her dad definitely got to go down too, man. Cause that's just sad and sick. But let's get back to the vid. I love Jesus. And let me tell you right now, you are the reason that I can even speak about this right now. I was going to, like, never, ever talk about anything that happened to me. Like, and because this is just that one person. Like, uh. it's been the worst things that have happened to me have come from my own family. And I resonate with you. I was raped at two years old by my own family. Yeah. And the maddest thing is Ryan Garcia claims he's not on anything, but he just hasn't told his own story yet. And we're still waiting on that. He just said then he was had things happen to him when he was just two years old by his own family. But he's barely spoke in detail about his whole situation. Um, so I'm sorry. And but God. it's like they try to keep you silenced as long as possible like i'm 23 years old i have three kids and <laughs> i'm hold on let me plug my phone in i'm outside talking um, you're, you're perfect don't even worry okay. you're perfect <laughs> but yeah and i just i want you to know like you bringing attention to this is helping so many people be able to speak out who would have never spoke out they probably would have just took it to the grave and just felt that pain their whole life because it's yeah. it's kind of it's something you think about every day you know no matter how much healing healing is not linear you know mm -hmm. like you know. and people gotta realize too even though she don't got a large following and stuff like that y'all also gotta realize if these things really are going on there's going to be a lot of people who ain't got a large following, let alone probably even be on social media for real. And they probably have some real experiences, et cetera, et cetera, with Diddy or whoever the case may be, et cetera, et cetera. So people also got to look at that side of the thing. It's like everybody is not on social media to also look for clout and to come up off of some type of game, beneficial game for their personal life and stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Some people might just now be coming out because they finally feel like they got a voice or they got some people around them that's possibly able to help them get their story out there, et cetera, et cetera, and helping them go through the right channels and stuff of getting their story told and possibly have something come from it. But like I said, man, it's right now it's just tricky because we don't know who is all really telling the truth for real and who's really just on here lying and looking for personal gain at the end of the day. So, like I said, I'm not saying that this woman is lying. She could very well be telling the real truth. And like I said in the video, if this is really true, then definitely Diddy deserves was supposed to come out of this situation as well as her dad because her dad pretty much tried to sell her. So... If Diddy goes now and her story is indeed true, then yeah, her dad should definitely be brought down too. But other than that, like I said, man, right now, I'm looking at everything as just accusations at this point in time. Until he's really charged, I can't really sit here and say, oh yeah, this person is telling the for real truth, et cetera, et cetera, because I really don't know at the end of the day. 
everything that's coming out is me also just finding out like everybody else. So that's it, man. Only time to tell. But right now, like I um if y'all been watching my videos and stuff, I already said in the previous video on this situation that um when a lot of people is saying these things, I'm not saying that everybody's telling the truth, but so many people telling the same similar stories, it's them there sounding like what a lot of people are saying is true. So with that said, that's another factor that's going against them right now is a lot of people is coming out with these same similar stories or accusations against him. And it's going to be hard for him to try to prove that everybody is lying against him. Because like I said, man, everybody ain't looking for a personal gain or looking for clout. Some people is probably just for real now able to finally have a voice and tell their story, et cetera, et cetera. But y'all comment down below how y'all feeling so far about this accusation right here by this woman and so forth and so beyond. But with that said, man, we're going to go ahead and continue on with this video. I only got three minutes left and I'm not going to make this video longer than it need to be. But let's get back to it. Now, some days you'll feel like you're, you know, okay, it made you stronger. You're grateful for everything you went through. And then other days you're like, man, fuck that. Like, that shit, I did not deserve that. Well, like, can I get my get back? Yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. And, you know, I always... Hey, I when, do I get it, when do I get to get my get back? Why, why, why are they running around like nothing happened? Exactly. Why, That's how I feel. Wow. Wow, yeah. I never really had anyone say it like that, but that's exactly how it feels. Like, how come he gets to walk around like all big and bad? Like he's never, you know, and everyone has really? so much respect for him, but it's like, does everybody know like what kind of person you, I'm talking about my dad and. <laughs> I'm with man. you. I'm, I look at again. Yeah. It's just hard to deal with because people that, unless they went through it or unless, like, unless their kids went through it, they will never be able to feel the pain that I feel. That's why I try to tell people like, you don't understand me, and you're yeah. never gonna understand me. I've, I've been hurt by people that I should not have been hurt by. Yes. People that I would have thought could defend me and I could trust. The people and, who and are people supposed to trust. protect you, like the people who are supposed to love you more than anybody, yeah. and those are the people like who hurt you, like that's crazy. And then you realize why Jesus said to um, the Pharisees, remember when his mom and his brother were kind of like laughing at him? And he goes, who's my mother or brother who's not trying to fulfill the will of God? I don't see relationships. I see what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. If you're not with God, I don't know you. Ryan Garcia has been Save the Children for a while. That's been his main message, Save the Children. And Diddy obviously has been accused of recruiting children for certain people. We'll see if that's true or not in an actual police investigation. But I'm sure there's going to be actual tons of documentaries of girls like this. Exposing stuff to do with people that knew him and everything. Diddy Do It is a documentary that's being suggested by Netflix right now. But nothing's been confirmed. No, like, my platform is never going to be as big Yo, as yours. Like, that, that everybody loves me. <laughs> I know. You have a lot of haters, too. But Netflix they're just haters because that, everybody that, loves me. Wanna, 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 wanna know why your platform platform is just as big? Why? It's because you're on my platform. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, you have, like, I personally will say to you from the bottom of my heart, you're never gonna be cold, you're never gonna be hungry, you don't gotta worry about nothing. I'm gonna take care of a lot of things in your life if you want me to. If not, it's okay. I'm just saying that I'm lending a hand further than the space is what I'm saying. Are you for real? Are you capping? Because I, I believe I, I, everything you say, I'd be believing it. You capping. can tell me the sky is pink and I'm gonna walk outside and check. Like, for yeah. real. No, and, and I'm a man of my word and I, I try my best to always come through. And, um, you know, I, I walk in truth and um, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. The amount of parties there was, I'm sure there's gonna be tons of women at some point coming forward in various documentaries about Diddy, but we're gonna cover more in the actual investigation on this channel. So leave a like and subscribe for daily updates. And that's pretty much the end of the video, man. Uh, like I said, right now, I'm treating this as pretty much another accusation, allegation. Um, I'm not saying that she's lying, like I said earlier. And if this is true, then, like I said, yeah, did he deserves whatever comes to him out of these um, cases and stuff. And on top of that, her dad should definitely be brought down, too, just because of his possible real-life involvement with this whole situation. So... But that's it, though, man. Um, That's pretty much the end of the video. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this whole situation. Do y'all believe her? Or do y'all feel like she really is looking for clout and trying to get some type of financial gain from this situation? Because like I said, some people may be telling the truth and just because they did 
come forth at the time when it happened or because they have they don't have a large following doesn't mean that they're absolutely lying etc cetera, etc cetera. so with that said man we just gotta treat it as another accusation allegation that could possibly be true man because it's a lot of people that don't really got a voice or a large following that's involved in this whole situation because if he's getting all these random females and stuff from all over underage females from well, underage minors from all over then that should tell you something right there that he's definitely got his hands involved with people that's not going to be able to speak up for themselves for real because everybody is not going to be able to handle this type of situation the same and on top of that the circumstances financially to go legally handle this is possibly not able to happen because their financial situation ain't able to support them for that type of battle. So with that said, man, we got to consider all factors involved in this whole uh, allegation as well as his main case with everybody else that's pretty much coming out against him. So that said, man, though, that's pretty much the end of the vid. Make sure y'all smash that like button and comment on the video. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos. And also don't forget to subscribe. And when we know more about this whole um, situation involving Diddy, I'll definitely be coming back with more videos real soon. So with that said, though, man, that's the end of the vid. I'm going to catch you guys later on. Peace.